win it. And in 2009, it was the most widely used web browser. For Opera, um, it's really used a lot in mobile phones. M mobile phones. Um, it's a cross-platform browser, works with both systems. It lets you chat in IRC and browse Usenet groups as well as surf the web. Supports Linux, and there's a growing market share of cell phone users. Um, and it comes pre-installed on more than 40 million homes. Okay, and the Safari, it's very well known to be on the Apple iPhone. It's an all-purpose all-purpose browser for Windows and Mac and let's see Chrome Google Chrome is built for enhanced Java support enabling it to run certain web-based apps faster than its competitors and they're in the process of making a feature Windows version for Mac okay and the next thing that we're going to go over is we use the sys internals zip and we had to put our networking stats into a notepad and these were my networking stats Also had to cover an investigative report when it comes to the company policies. Um, let's see. Going over a scenario where we would have to actually run, you know, the investigative report. And then what was the reason why we would, you know, want to change the company policy? What issues could arise to make us want to do that? And also, we had to create a browser memo in business memo format. And there's my memo. also did a registry edit exercise and we just have a snapshot of the registry editor without going in and making any changes and we had to send in a zip copy of the paint um, file that we created um, Okay, as far as the networking stats, after we did the networking stats, we would run the Internet Explorer History Viewer, and we would save our results in XLS format, which can be read by Microsoft Excel, and these were my results. Okay, and the final thing that we went over was command prompt and we went over a lot of different command prompt switches such as DIR which stands for directory or also known as folders ATTRIB ATTRIB equals displays or changes file attributes CD displays the name of or changes the current directory MD creates a directory. RD removes a directory. CLS clears the stream. M move moves one or more files from one directory to another directory. Copy copies one or more files to another location. REN, R-E-N, renames a file or files. X copy copies files and directory trees. And I just 
thought I would share an interesting um, power command. Uh, well, we know to retrieve um, network information, we type in IP config and hit enter. And in my case, I'm not connected to the internet, but it would show you your default gateway, your IP address, all those different things that you would need to figure out if you were having any network issues. Okay. And one of the things I wanted to share with everybody was an interesting command switch. And basically, you can actually change the color of your text in the command prompt window, and you just type in color space, and they actually have, like, I'm going to just type in a color name, and then it'll give us the options for actually changing the color. Now, as you can see, it's got numbers and letters next to the different colors. So if we hit continue, and we type in color, and we put in one of these numbers or one of these letters, like if I wanted to change the color to purple, space five and as you can see it changed the white to purple and if we wanted to change the color again say we wanted to change it to light red and type in blue or if we wanted to change the color to light purple and if we wanted to change it back to light, there we go. And then, as we, I said before, if you type in CLS and you hit uh, enter, it will clear the screen. And you start all over with the next thing you need to do for a command line. And there was one more thing we were to do, and that was go to soundstone.com and go to their free tools and resources, and we had to download um, some different tools, and we did uh, the ones we had to do was F port ports all the TCP forward slash IP and UDP ports and maps them to owning application. Jump autocomplete, this application will search for default Firefox profile of the user who runs the tool and dump the autocomplete cache and XML format to standard outputs. Then we did a forensic toolkit which contains several Win32 command line tools like such as AFIND is the only two that list files by their last access time without tampering the data the way that right-clicking on file properties in Explorer will. HFIND scans the disk for hidden files. SFIND scans the disk for hidden data streams and lists the last access time. And then you have um, file stack is a quick dump of all file and security attributes. And Hunt is a quick way to see if a server reveals too much info during your session. And there was one more thing I forgot to show you. And for command line, you can actually type in, um, for the command prompt window, you can type in help. And it will show you the different command lines that are acceptable and what they need and what they'll do.